Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at Zhong Li's ability Dominus of Earth and exactly how is that calculated. Let's not waste any time and get started. To start off, we're going to be using a level 80 Ascendant Zhong Li with level 8 talents and then for the normal damage, this is going to just be one cycle of normal damage all combined together. For the skill, this is going to be a hold damage of 128% and then the resonance that is given 6 times and then the burst is just a burst. We're going to be using a crit damage build with attack percent sans. Later on we're going to take a look at how different it is for HP percent. The reason why we're using a crit damage build is because we have a death match. And then for the death match this is just going to have no ability but it's just going to be ours with 0 max level. Now what we have here is a base jungle. Now what do I mean by that? For this, this is the stats that we have for Ra Zhongli when he does not have Dominus of Earth active. So this is, these are going to be the damage that he has right now. Alright, so now let's take a look at what is going to happen if we do implement the ability Dominus of Earth for Zhongli. So, this is how it's going to look like if we do implement Dominus of Earth with Zhongli. So right here on the left is our base Zhongli that we had before, and then right here is the Dominus of Earth. We have three indicators for normal damage and the skill damage and the burst damage that is given right here. So. If I were to get out the image right here and then paste it right here, we see that Zhongli deals this amount of damage for 1.39, 1.9, and the 33% of Zhongli's max HP, which is why I have three different damages indicated right here. If you take a look at the attack averages, we see that it's a bit different because it's 202. Where is the extra 3,000-ish damage coming from? So if I were to separate this, if you take a look at here, this is the thing that you want to notice. This is the damage that is going on, G13, which is the 202, and I'm multiplying it by 9. What you want to realize is that Zhong Li, remember I've been doing it based on the cycle. When he does a cycle, he will be doing it 9 times. So taking a look right here, this is not what I want. Taking a look right here, you see that there is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 9 hits that is going to be occurring. This normal damage occurs in every hit that is being applied to the enemy. So I have to be multiplying this by 9 and then including it into the attack damage itself. That's where that extra damage is coming from. Let me just uh, clean this up so we are able to see this a bit better. There we go. Okay, so that is going to be the same for the skill as well as that pillar. You have the startup damage, whether you do hold or you just instantly do it. And then that pulsating earth resonance that is occurring from the geo pillars themselves. And then you have your burst average that is going on from the planet befall. Now, the next question is, is HP percent going to be better or is attack percent going to be better for this? So let's take a look right here. On the left right here, this is going to be attack percent. Actually, uh, let me add that in. So this is going to be attack percent. And then on the right, it's going to be HP percent. What you're going to see is that normally we see that the HP percent it is going to be dealing more damage on the individual normal attack, skill attack, and then the burst damage for each of them right here. However, if you take a look at the averages themselves, you see that HP percent it is only doing very slightly higher than your attack average, your skill average is doing worse, and then your burst average is doing worse than as well. Now, why is that the case? So one of the things you do want to be remembering is that when we go here, we're going to be taking a look at how each of this is going to be applied. This is the base HP for Zhongli, and this is the base attack for Zhongli as well. So if we take a look at this, 1% of his HP that is implemented, that's going to be 136 HP, and then 6.87 for the attack. So if I were to do this, that means that attack for one of the HP percent is going to be 1.9, and then the skill is 2.6, and then the verse is 45.08, and then the attack is going to be the same for all three. So one of the questions I hope that you're all thinking about is that the burst does not look right for the HP percent. As we have indicated right here, we see that the HP percent burst is lower than the attack percent. In other words, it should be close enough. However, there's a huge difference in the attack that is occurring. One of the things you might want to be wondering about is that remember I said that normal damage is happening for every single damage that is occurring. You want to be thinking of it as similar to Crescent Pipe. So the calculation is actually similar to Crescent Pack. So what do I mean by that is that these, let me get the picture out. This right here, ew, I don't like that. Hold on. Right here, we see the 1.39%, 1.9%, and the 33%. How you want to be thinking of these percentage is, if you scroll up, it's actually these right here. Each of these percent indicates the damage that is indicating. So this percent is actually the percent that is indicated from each of the talent that is indicated right here. So 
your actual damage is going to look like this. You're going to be doing 17 extra damage because of the 9 normal hits that is occurring. And then this is the 1.39. However, for the normal hit, it is going to be 412%. 412% versus your 1.39% times 9. Obviously, the 412% is going to be much stronger. And then that occurs for the same for all the skill and then for the burst as well. And then that makes sense on how attack percent is going to be better because we see from here that attack percent is going to be dominating most of the time as you can see from your normal, your skill, and also your burst that is indicated. Now, if we take a look right here, you see that it's very close in damage on the difference that is indicated. Most likely it's because you have so much HP from the start that you're getting a lot of attack from that starting HP, but the more HP you are giving to your character, you're gonna get diminishing returns, and then slowly you're going to see that attack percent is going to be better in the long run. But one of the things we do wanna realize for this is that Zhongli is not just a damage dealing character. You want to be utilizing him as a support character, not just his attack, Based, unless that's what you want to focus on. If you only want to focus on how much damage he's dealing, then you might want to do attack percent. However, if you also want to focus on his other kits, such as his how much defense he's going to be giving you based on his shields, then the HP percent is going to definitely benefit that. Attack percent does nothing on that. If you look at Zhongli's build, guys right here, one of the things they say is what main stats should my artifacts have? And then the question we asked was, should we do an HP percent stance or attack percent stance? And it really depends on what kind of Zhongli you want. If you want more attack, then you are going to do attack. If you want more defensive build for your Zhongli, then you're going to be getting HP. And then what's really nice about the HP is that not only are you getting more tanky for your team, for your, the shield that you're giving to your team, is that you're also at least giving them some attack, so you're not sacrificing too many of it. So, to summarize, based on the data that we've seen right here, Attack percent is going to be much better if you're only going to be focusing on damage itself. However, if you want to be supporting on your defense based on your shields as well, make sure you go onto HP percent. I hope this video was helpful for all of you. Leave a like if it did, and hopefully I will see you all in the next video.